Tonight in Flagler County, the city is urging people along the coast, be careful at some of the beach access points. We showed you video earlier this week of the waves beating the coastline. Now areas are seeing some bad erosion and it is affecting access points there. Meantime, more than five years after Hurricane Matthew battered the famous Flagler Beach Pier, the city looking to rebuild once again. News 6's Molly Reed talked to the mayor about the project and how it could change the landscape of the area. The iconic wooden pier here in Flagler Beach behind me has taken the brunt and been damaged in several storms and hurricanes over the last decade. But starting this next year, the city is going to be redoing it. Leaders hope it will be more structurally safe. But this original pier was constructed in 1927 as a thousand feet long and now we're in the 600 feet range. After Hurricane Matthew in 2016 took off a 163 foot chunk of it, FEMA gave the city $10 million to replace the pier. Mayor Susie Johnson said they had to have a plan for the money by March 2022. We are filing for an extension and moving all along with the project. Commissioners voted last week to demolish the current one and replace it with an 800 foot concrete pier. Johnson says to stay in code, it will also be 13 feet higher than the current one. There's only three insurance companies in the world world that will ensure a wooden pier. So concrete is the way to go with the waves and how strong the ocean is and how much damage they have been causing on the wooden piers. It'll change the look of the landmark the town has surrounded, but the city will keep part of its history. The plan is to keep the first hundred feet of the original wooden pier. So that's about the pier that covers all the way up to the sand. And the mayor tells me they hope to have this project done within the next four years. In Flagler Beach, Flagler County, I'm Molly Reed getting results. News 6.